welcome back to Wealthy Mentor Trading, guys. Today is July the 17th, 2022. And today I have four stocks that I'm going to be looking at with my targets going into tomorrow. They are all reporting earnings. Names like J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson, Netflix, Tesla, and Snap, all significant in the market direction going forward. I'm also going to be looking at the S&P 500, which was the chart that you guys see on your screen right here. I'm going to be looking at where we left off last week and what my targets are going into the week ahead. Before we get started, guys, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel as we do release videos every Sunday. And if you are interested in trading with us on our Discord channel, we do have a trading group called Wealthy Mentor Trading. And we do have a $97 two-month promo right now. It is our summer promo. So if you haven't joined, check us out. The link is in the description. All the names being discussed today are part of the group, right? So basically what you get is day trading names. You get watch lists for swing trading. You get options callouts along with market analysis, market prep in the morning, and everything that you need to know and gather information as a trader, it's in that group. So if you are interested, click that link in the description and that should get you sorted out. And as I did mention, we do have the S&P 500 here. And as you guys have been following along, we have been stuck to this channel, right? That 39.25 area right here where we have multiple rejections on the daily time frame, and nothing pretty much changed this week, right? We did have consumer sentiment index along with the inflation numbers, and both those came in bearish, right? Below expectations, and now inflation is at an all-time high. So what happened? The buyers bought the dip, right? Bulls have stepped in once again around that $3,700 area. Pretty much now, this is the fourth time around that $3,700 area that bull stepped in and bought that dip. And that's been happening recently. And to me, it continues to show me that that $3,650, that drop right here was the bottom right now. And we are going to proceed higher. But since we do have earnings, it is the perfect catalyst to catapult us past that $3,925 area. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be looking at this week, right? So if earnings turn out positive, and it's not just this week with earnings, it's also the week afterwards. There's a slew of earnings coming out. Names like Tesla that have a significant hold on the S&P 500. Netflix, which has had a terrible year, dropping 50, 60 plus percent, could definitely change the market direction, right? So it all starts with how they're perceived. And if they do beat earnings, we could definitely see a push above 3,900. So I am looking above 3,900, guys, to negate this downtrend right here, right? So we are in a downtrend from an overall perspective, a long-term trend. However, in order to change that in the short term, we got to get past this $3,900 mark. So if we do get past that, I am looking at targets of $3,980 and $4,050, right? Which coincides with this gap right here that we left back on June the 9th. So it's been a long time since we've touched these levels and earnings is the perfect catalyst to get us over that up. Now to the downside, what am I looking at? Again, 3,800 has been that base for me. And what I said last week is that I wanted to close above 3,800 on the weekly and we did get that right. So as long as we stay above 3,800, we are in good shape. However, if we do close below 3,800, again, guys, I have targets right here of 3,720 to 3,700 as my first take profit target to the downside. And obviously, that 3650 is that major key support line that you definitely want to see hold if you want to maintain a market balance, right? So that's the S&P 500, guys. So definitely look above 3925 to see if we are going to change the short-term trend. And as I did mention, I do have four stocks that I'm going to be looking at. And the first one being J&J, &J, right? So Johnson & Johnson is reporting earnings on Tuesday. Uh, you know, they're the, one of the biggest healthcare product makers that we have. Um, they're set to report earnings of $2.59 per share in its upcoming earnings. Like I said, on Tuesday, it represents a year over year change of 4.4%. So that is a gain along with revenues expected to be 23.99 billion up 2.9% from a year ago this quarter. So Analysts are bullish on Johnson & Johnson, and it is one of the few bright spots in the market. As you guys can see on the daily time frame, we have been consolidating between that 184, which we did receive a recent rejection back on June the 28th, and that 174 area. So 
what am I looking at going into earnings? You know what? It's very simple. I do want to see a break of this of this channel right here. So I am looking for a move above 184. So that's my position going in. I am looking for calls above 184 to hit targets of 187 and 194 round number six. So that's on the bullish side. On the bearish side, if we bomb on earnings, right, we do have the support of 174 where buyers did step in on multiple occasions with the exception of this drop right here that we had on June the 14th. So below 174, I am looking at puts, right? So I am looking for the for J and J to drop below 174 for targets of 167. So those are my two areas that I'm looking at on Johnson and Johnson. Not much action here with this chart, guys. As you guys know, we have been consolidating for quite a while. So earnings is the perfect catalyst to finally catapult us over. And analysts already seem pretty bullish. You know, they're expecting a 4.4% year over year increase. And it looks like it's in good shape. So definitely check above 184 on a bullish side and on a bearish side. Look for the drop below 174 on Johnson & Johnson. All right. The next name that I want to look at is Netflix, NFLX. And everyone knows about Netflix, right? This was a $700 stock from the start of the year. And now we are much consolidating between that 205 area, which has acted as strong resistance, right? We've had multiple touches on the daily back in June and been rejected, right? So the bottom of that range is that 162 area. So if we are a bear and it seems like Netflix is set to continue losing subscribers at its, as it's continued to decline uh, despite its efforts to crack down on account sharing and adding cheaper uh, advertising and supporting streaming. You know, none of that's really working. So analysts are expecting a drop in subscribers of 1.72 million and 1.5 million in the next two quarters. So not just this earnings coming up, the next earnings also look like a bearish perspective, according to analysts. So what am I looking at personally from a technical standpoint? I am looking for a break above 205, right? So if I'm a bull, where do I enter? It is that 205. You guys can clearly see we haven't broken this line since April, and it's been a barrier of resistance where every time we've hit it, we've got a rejection. So above 205 is where I enter my position. And my targets for that would be that 220 area where we pretty much had the drop down candle in multiple days where we saw red right here, right? So for me, I want to see a test of 220 as my take profit target. Now to the downside, I do have this area of 196 to 175 highlighted. As you guys know, we have been ping ponging around this area for quite a while. So I am looking below 175 to enter short positions down to that 162 take profit area, right? So if we hit that, I also have another position right here as we are bearish according to analysts on subscriber growth and they are expected to miss. So what am I looking at? What 144 is that next major area for me as my second take profit target, guys. So uh, overall, you know, my thoughts, forget the analyst part. We didn't beat up for quite a while on Netflix. And I am expecting some sort of bounce. Just the fact that everyone is expecting another miss, uh, that to me screams that we might be bullish, right? Sometimes you gotta have that opposite of the market reaction. What people are thinking, you gotta go opposite of that. But to me, I mean, a few things can happen. We can still consolidate between that 205 to 175 area for months until the next earnings, right? Or we can see a surprise in terms of the revenue, in terms of subscriber growth, and we'll definitely see a pop above 205. So unless we see some sort of magic happen uh, on Netflix, I can still see it trending sideways or towards that 162 support line, as you guys can see that we've touched back on May, early May. All right. So that's my views on Netflix. Next name that is reporting earnings on Wednesday, and that's Tesla. So, you know. Tesla, much like Netflix, we have been stuck into a channel, right? So if I'm looking at it here on the daily time frame, you guys know that from 770 to 675, we've been trending sideways, right? So that's not to say you can't take any trades or make any trades between that area. But if you are 
someone that's looking for more clarity, you're definitely going to be looking at that 770 line, which is what I'm targeting going into earnings for a push up to 795. You can call it 800 for round number's sake, where we did receive a rejection. That would be my first take profit target on the break of 770. And we also have this next area of 850, which we can definitely run up if we break 800, right, guys? So it is an area of key support over here and multiple times over here. And you guys know, previous support now on the way up turns to key resistance. So I am looking for a run up to 850 if we can swiftly hit that $800 mark and break past that channel. Now, overall, Tesla's deliveries declined 18%. Uh, in the second quarter and, and in the recent tweet Musk said that Tesla would be lowering its car prices but that will depend on the inflation and you guys know inflation is nowhere near at a point where it is heading lower it in fact it's heading higher and if you guys have been paying attention to the markets I believe it's around that 9.1 percent and that's pretty terrible so Tesla has increased their prices uh, on their cars so you know, it, it's tough for people now to buy a Tesla as opposed to a few months ago or a few years ago where you can pop in and buy it for a, a reasonable amount. So they are expecting their deliveries to decline 18%. Uh, Tesla has been rain around, like I said, since May 2020. And on a bullish side, look above 770. On a bearish side, look below 675, where we could see a shorting opportunity down to that, six, that 620 area where Obviously, we received the bounce back on May the 23rd, which was the last significant area where Tesla was um, to get in at, right? So definitely watch Tesla. Next name that is reporting earnings, and that is Snap. And Snap is, out of the four names, it is the worst one, right? It is still in a downtrend. As you guys can see, it was an $80 stock back on September 2021, and we've been free falling ever since. And it's pretty simple, guys. I have these lines dried up here, pretty much support and resistance zones. And we have been stuck between 16 bucks and $12.50 all the way from May till today, right? So we do have a big gap right here. So I am looking for a break above $16 for a potential push up to $20. And $27 would be a second bullish target. Now to the downside, a break below twelve fifty can lead us down to eight dollars, and that is on the weekly time frame. As I switch over here, the COVID lows, right? So, it is an area where we could definitely see us going. Just looking at the chart itself, it isn't a downtrend. So, what's to stop it from heading down to eight dollars? Nothing, right? Um, their online advertising has been increasing, and Snap would be the first barometer. And all the social media names, especially names like Twitter. So definitely look at Snap to give you an indicator of where the other ones are going in terms of uh, ad revenue. Uh, they are also, also planning to showcase uh, their NFTs on this application. It is something that they're discussing. Uh, it's in beta tests right now, and it will be featuring towards uh, the end of August. So they are getting into the NFT game. So that is exciting news for people that are investing in Snap. However, that does not really do anything for its current earnings and judging by the overall outlook on the technical side if i wasn't looking at any fundamental whatsoever i would say we are heading lower right so to me i am bearish and i am looking below 1250 to hit those targets right here eight dollars which could be a good buying opportunity however we would need to see the market reaction first right so definitely look above 16 dollars on the bull side for targets of 20 and 27 right 27 we did consolidate here it was a big breakout area and 20 dollars is the bottom of the support line which is now resistance so look above 16 for your targets and look below 12 for your bearish targets towards eight dollars all right guys those are four stocks that are reporting earnings as i mentioned guys these earnings are important for the market because if we do pop on these names right if we do succeed on these earnings it could definitely give the market confidence to break past that $3,900 area to fill that gap at $4,000 and to create a little mini trend change. However, the trend overall on the long term is bearish. So keep that in mind when you are entering positions on these names. All right. Thank you so much. 
be sure to subscribe to the channel. All the names here are discussed on our trading group at Wealthy Mentor Trading. The link is in the description. See you guys there. Thank you so much.